Um, welcome back to Shine Like a Diamond. If you are new, welcome. If you are coming back, thank you for coming. Um, so, as you can see, I have an unboxing for you today that is Diamond Art Club. Um, but first, I want to make a little side note. So, um, I was having a problem with my speaker in my iPhone. So I went to the store and um, this is a short version, okay? I went to the store, the gal said, oh yeah, this, this other phone um, is so much better for videoing. It's great, the sound is like amazing, all this stuff. So I trusted her, I was like, okay, I got it for free. Um, with make, I'll make payments every month, like I have always done. But um, <clears throat> I brought it home yesterday and I was trying to make my Whip It Wednesday and my Tip Tuesdays. And I just could not get the sound quality that I had with my iPhone. And so I took it back today um, and basically I'm screwed for three months. I'm stuck with the phone if I don't want to pay the $50 restocking fee and then also pay um, a $300 down payment on a new phone. But if I wait three months, then I can trade this phone in for a new phone, you know, whatever I want and um, either only pay taxes or um, get out without paying anything and again go back to paying monthly. So I'm on um, the program that when T-Mobile very very first started the jump on demand program so it's not even offered anymore so if I turned this phone in before the 90 days I would be kicked off of that program and I don't want to do that. So I apologize if the sound is not the same quality as the iPhone. I hope it's not going to be um, bearable. I would really, really like your guys' comments in this um, in the comment section to see how it sounded to you. If it sounded okay, if it sounds better, what you liked better. Um, but either way, I kind of am stuck with it. I'm thinking about trying to find a good microphone if I need to. Um, but when I went in today... Uh, to talk to her and I played back a video she goes that sounds excellent to me that's good video um, software so I was like okay well maybe I'm just not used to it so I guess we'll just have to kind of see and play by ear so with that said we're going to um, dive right in to this unboxing and um, so if, a, if there are things that are a little different um, in the editing and the music and all that stuff it is because um, I have a new phone, new software, and all that stuff, so I've got to get used to it. i got to figure out my, my groove. So um, it is pouring rain outside right now, you guys, like absolutely pouring rain. Um, and I have my door open. I'm sitting next to the door, and even though I'm a tad chilly, it is, um, it's just beautiful. So hopefully it won't pick up the sound of the pouring rain too bad. I'm going to grab my knife so that I can open the box. Okay, so I'm kind of excited to see see what we got here because this was sent after the um, new releases of from last excuse me from last um, Saturday, and I am so loving this new release every weekend I tell you though like I can't wait for Saturdays to come around um, because I can't wait to get those uh, new releases to see what they were doing now one of these um, I'm not gonna tell you which ones I got but one of them has been a long time coming for my daughter so it won't be a long video today because I only have two of them however um, yeah, like I said, one of them is a, is something that she's been waiting for. And this one, the first one I'm going to show you. I love those little snowflake star or whatever. They're, if, I don't know if they're supposed to be snowflakes. They're just supposed to be like bright, shiny, starry diamond type things. But I love that. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, let me get the plastic off. I know you guys have seen them before, but I still, I just... I love the, the way it does that. So we'll see. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, you should be able to at least a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, this one I've wanted for a while and I just, it wasn't at the top of my list, but I got it this time. 
so I'm excited to see it, do it. This one is, um, it is a round diamond with um, ABs. It is 52, or 42 by 59, which to me is like the perfect size. And as you can tell with, this is the older, um, it's not really old, but the older uh, bags, they're now coming out with the opaque ones, which are like not, you can't see through them. So they're wrapping things a little bit different. But like I said, this one has been out for a while and I just, it hasn't been up there, but it is today and I'm really, really happy. So. All right, your instructions, which if it is a first time for you, diamond painting, those come in very handy. Uh, most of us have seen those instructions about a bazillion times. Whether we've done diamond art clubs or not, you have seen instruction sheets over and over and over again. So I might have to show you in sections um, the other if the other one. We'll see. I'm doing um, my whole setup is just different today, and I'm getting used to it. But I love it. It's so it's Cinderella. Um, I know. Again, I know it's old. I'm a little late to the party with this one but I just think she's absolutely gorgeous. I love her dress. I love the colors, um, the purples and the blues and the oranges. When I did Princess and a Frog, um, the green with that orange and red down the side looks so beautiful. And I think that it's gonna be kind of the same thing with this one with the, with the orange pumpkin and the blues and the purples. So it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna, of course, you got your sticky canvas as always. Um, I will show you the drill field. See, hopefully my camera's focusing for you. You can see how easy it is to read. You really, you don't um, need a light pad. You, of course, could use one and it makes things a little easier, but you don't need one. Now this one has uh, 33 colors in it. And I love the backing of their, their uh, diamond paintings. It's so soft, so nice of a feel to work with compared to the, um, the other stuff. So uh, basic kit comes with your, you know, two heart waxes, a uh, tray with the funnel and a pen. So you guys have probably seen them a million times, especially lately. Um, so this one was, um, in March is when this one was packaged. So like I said, this one is a little bit old. Uh, so I'm sure you've seen it unboxed before, but maybe not lately, so who knows. I wanna see if I can find the uh, ABs. Okay. There is one. And it's going to be a blue one, I believe. Ooh, there's a little square, a square drill that decided to run away. A little run away. Okay. Um, which is funny because, yeah, this one isn't a, um, this is a round. So let's see. I know it's in here because I just looked. Let me see here. Um, hmm. Is that it? There it is. So it's this beautiful blue, which is going to be in her dress. So look at that. How pretty is that? Seriously. Ah, I love it. I love the blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors on here to work with. Um, and especially like these. Look how pretty those are. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. Okay. So, as always, there's quite a bit of the 310s and the 939s because Mandy Benzano always outlines her stuff, which I really love the look of. Um, it's just, it makes it so beautiful. It makes it really, really look like a stained glass um, piece. So, if you haven't done any Diamond Art Club and you're thinking about it, 
Um, I highly recommend them. They are my favorite uh, company to do. And they're just really, really high quality. And the Manzano pieces, Mandy's pieces, are so fun. And I like to do them in um, sections of, I outline them. So normally I do my sections like a two by two square. Um, or three by three or four by four, whatever. And I do it square by square by square. But with her, what I do is I take a section. Let's just, for example, grab, I'll just point to this section, okay? So I would outline this whole black area and then I would fill that part in. So it's kind of like when you're coloring, um, because that's how I color, you know, you do the outline of it and then you go back and fill it in. And um, it just, it makes it fun. And honestly, it makes working with the plastic, the clear plastic um, manageable for me because I really don't like it, the clear plastic one, so. Okay, this other one, I'm definitely not gonna be able to get on my table all in one shot. So I'll have to kind of show you, like I said, um, in sections, but at the end of the video, I will um, post, post a picture so you can see it. Oh, and by the way, with Cinderella, I will post the, the price of her right down there. I forgot to say that. And so we're gonna get into this one. Can you guys guess? I bet you can guess what one it is. I tell ya, it's got my daughter going cuckoo. Somebody's outside being super loud. So I might have to close my door here if it gets any worse. But so normal, normal kit. Um, this one is. Again, round with ABs, which uh, I'm very glad because I don't know how well my daughter would do with such a big piece with it being square. She's not done a square one yet. And um, so this one, this one, and it's pretty dang big. Look at those drills, you guys. That's one fat pack of drills. Holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna put those down. So here's the new um, Diamond Art Club bags that are, you, you know, you can't see through them. I don't know why they switched to this, but I kind of like it. Um, they're they're kind of cool with their logo. Do what makes you sparkle. Let's see. Let's tear into here. Come on. Okay. One thing, though, I have to say about these bags that I find a little different. The other ones open real easily. This one tends to stick sometimes and rip, but... Whatever, that doesn't really matter. Okay. I, I honestly, you guys, I knew that, I just threw the instructions away because I don't feel like showing you guys, but I knew I was gonna love this one. I wasn't particularly like waiting or holding my breath for this particular one, um, like my daughter was, but uh, you know, I think even if she didn't want it or she doesn't finish it, this is going to be one that I would really, really enjoy doing. I am just kind of, I'm rolling it up backwards so I can lay it out real flat for you guys. And I don't want to give you a peek of it until I really give you the full, the full thing. Because it is so, so pretty. Look at her. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I'm kind of actually really jealous. I told my daughter she could have this one. Look at that. Ah. Okay, I'm going to pull her down. Look at that. That is just unbelievable. Ah, oh, so pretty. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I think I'm just kind of in awe. She's so beautiful. Look at her hair and the face. I don't always love the ones that actually have the face, but her, she, they did an amazing job with this one. Absolutely amazing. It goes down into her dress and the colors. It is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one is um, 42 by 125. Bigger than 
Nola that I'm working on now, except she's a little bit wider, but that one's only 88 centimeters. This one's 125, um, which is incredible to me. It's just so big. Um, as always, if I can find my measure thing, I do trust Diamond Art Clubs because they're typically like right on the money, but um, the drill field is... Oh, my tape measure is like struggling to to want to keep going because it's like, it's so long. Okay, hold on. I almost got gotcha. you. And yep, 125 by 42. Perfect. As always. But holy crap, you guys. I can't get enough. Like I could just sit here and look at this piece and it has no diamonds on it, but it's already like absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna show you the drills. Let's see what, how many colors are in here. I didn't look yet, I was too kind of in awe. So there's 47 colors. Um, so it's got quite a few colors. But you gotta have a lot of colors when it's this big, right? All right, let's see. And obviously, just in case you can't tell, it is Milan. Um, the name of it, I believe, is uh, Daughter of Honor. Let me make sure I'm right here. So, The Daughter of Honor is the name. And the AB that's in this one is, um, oh, there's three, three ABs in here. Okay, let's, oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay. So I'm gonna just kind of count and then I'll kind of try to find the ABs as we go. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I love this color. So pretty. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's 3844. All right, so 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. So here is one of the ABs. They're just um, pink. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. There's a little runaway in there, but how pretty. Okay, I forgot my count. That's okay. I'll go back and do the inventory later. I'm just gonna kinda go through them and look for the other ABs that are in here. I'm thinking one is gonna be, I thought it was gonna be the green, but it's, I'm not seeing it here. Um, let's see. I passed it somehow. And I believe, I swear, I swear there were three, hold on. So the one we saw that was pink was 124, then we need 137 and 130. So those are the two that I gotta find. So 137 and 130. And I don't think it's any of those. Um, and I think I looked at these, so we're gonna go over here. Oh, there's one of them. So that's 137, and so then we need the 130. Where are you, 130? You have disappeared. Well, I will show you this one for now, and then I'll find it. But And that one is absolutely gorgeous blue. Such a pretty blue. There's a few runaways in there, but, you know, what can you do? <sighs> look at that. So pretty, and look how many there are, which means they're just going to really, really sparkle across this canvas. Um... So now I just need to find 130. Where are you, 130? Hmm. Here it is. Okay, we got it, we got it. It is yellow. Beautiful. So there's yellow, a little bit of pink, and then a buttload of blue. So pretty, so, so pretty. She's gonna start this one 
um, really soon, I'm guessing, and we'll see if she finishes it herself. If not, like I said, I will be taking over, and I won't mind one little bit because this one is absolutely stunning. I will put the price of it right here as always, and um, I will post a picture of the full piece so that you can see the, the whole thing in one um, area so you can really see it in all of its glory because man is it. Um, but that's all I have for you for right now. I do once again apologize for not getting the Whip It Wednesday up because of the camera hole whatevs. Um, I do have a tips and tricks video. I'm kind of ready to go. I just need to do some editing. So let me know in the comments too. Do you want me to post that tips and tricks video today too, even though it's the wrong day? Or should I save it for next week? Let me know what you would like me to do. Um, because either way, I'm okay. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Wednesday. And I know I am going to go and relax. It's raining today, so I'm gonna go kind of chill out and work on my NOLA painting. And that's all I have. So even though it is cloudy and rainy here, I'm gonna keep on shining, and I want you to do the same. Have a great day, guys. Bye. <laughs>